As I reported last month, Christopher Monckton backed out of a debate we were having on the website What's Up With That? Well, I'm still offering him the chance to continue the debate and provide the response he promised, but it'll be on a new site. I'll give details at the end of this video, but first I have to explain what's happened. Moncton's decision to pull the plug on the debate has been swiftly endorsed by the man who runs the What's Up With That site, Anthony Watts. I first got word of this not from Anthony, but from people who began commenting on it on my channel. It turns out he'd written this in the comments section of a Moncton guest post on What's Up With That. He was referring to an interview with me that Peter Sinclair, a.k.a. Green Man, had posted on his website. While I can't hear what Hadfield is saying, they seem totally infatuated with their manhunt, so much for Hadfield's repeated claims of being dispassionate and logical. Thanks for posting this. When he starts colluding with that hateful green man, all semblance of rational debate is destroyed. This video then cements my decision not to provide any further space to Hadfield here. Well, Anthony, I don't know if Sinclair is hateful or not. Sinclair emailed me very politely asking if he could do an interview, and I saw no reason to refuse him. See, I'm not really interested in this rather silly us-versus-them cat fight that so many people seem to think substitutes for a debate about the facts. I don't have hate lists. Everyone's welcome on my channel, whoever they are and whomever they talk to. But as I've said before, Anthony, you have a perfect right to run your channel as you see fit, to ban anyone you want, and block any comments you don't like. As for the idea that we seem to be on a manhunt, even though you couldn't make out what was being said, I can assure you there is no manhunt. I'm not looking for Moncton, and it doesn't really matter where he is. All he has to do is post his promised response and answer the allegations that have been clearly laid out and documented. Perhaps instead of defending him, you should ask him why he doesn't do that. But I do have one beef, and that is with you making up quotes. I've never said I was dispassionate and logical. Not once, let alone repeatedly. Firstly, it sounds arrogant for me to make assertions like this. Secondly, whether the quote is flattering or not, making up quotes is simply wrong. OK, I could explain why making up quotes is wrong, but this should be understood without having to have it explained. It's one of the first things they teach at journalism school, one of the first things academics learn when they do their research, and something even politicians realise. And this brings us back to the debate. Because Moncton, a politician, does know that his misquotes will be damaging to him, which is why he backed out of the debate. A few days after his comment was posted, I did get official word from Anthony Watts that he was pulling the plug on the debate. Oh well, I was delighted that Mr Watts had even allowed the debate to begin, given that so many of his readers, and even one of his moderators, professed themselves admirers of Moncton. It was a courageous act, and one that surprised me, so, Anthony, I certainly don't take back my thanks to you for allowing your readers to glimpse some of Mr Moncton's sources that clearly contradict the claims he made for them. Fortunately, there are other internet sites that are willing to see a free and fair debate. I'm certainly willing to host one on my channel, and I've made that invitation to Mr Moncton. And I was approached by a website called The League of Reason for that same purpose. I've readily agreed for the debate to be hosted on their website. I understand they've also invited Mr Moncton, and asked him to send his promised response, which is now two months overdue. According to his supporters on What's Up With That, Moncton can whip me easily. Great if you think a debate about accurately quoting sources is a football game, well then why doesn't he?